I've been doing some resin casting lately and I thought I would use one of the pieces that I made uh, to make a nightlight or maybe a gaming beacon however you want to look at it what I'm doing first here is uh, just turning the base out of some walnut that I had I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time uh, showing you what I did with this base because uh, this was the first base of many. For some reason things just kept going wrong on this project and uh, well, I think it was finally the, the fourth base iteration that I ended up sticking with. My intent was to hollow this out so that a 9 volt battery and wires would, would uh, fit inside the base. And you'll see why a little bit later. So that blue D20 uh, gaming dice, or die I guess, uh, is what I cast recently. I actually made a few of those in different colors. But I thought this blue would be a great one to uh, to try and wire up for a LED. Which is why I needed that space for the 9 volt battery. And I finally broke down and bought some Alumilite Clear. Just had to try it out. Expensive stuff. We'll see if it's worth it. This Illumilite Clear has only got a 7 minute uh, working time, but it mixes up really fast. And I'm just topping it off here inside the pressure pot. Demolding for this Illumilite Clear is only a few hours, but I left it in there overnight. And I must say, I was quite happy with the results. I just had to see what it looked like. It looks pretty good. Now once I get all of the, uh, the cup off of there, it looks really good. Nice and clear. And I set this thing up so it would be a little bit off-center, so that wobble there is intentional. The reason I did that is because I am not making an egg. I want this thing to be a little bit, uh, uh, what's a good word, kitty wampus. I did not want an exact sphere and I didn't want an egg. I just wanted something interesting. We'll see how you like it. Let me know. Now here you can see where the off-center uh, is causing the shape to be a little bit uh, askew. That's going to help the, uh, the reflection and the magnification uh, make the uh, D20 
just look a little bit more interesting, I think. going at about 600 RPMs. It's not making the sandpaper jump off or anything like that so I can get a real smooth uh, finish on this. should be crystal clear. That's the hope anyways. Well, I destroyed the base, punched a hole right through the the doggone thing. So I gotta gotta rethink how I'm gonna mount this. Cassie made some beautiful pieces here. Check out her YouTube channel, Season Saws. And very nice, Cassie. Jill Diedrich made some beautiful pieces as well. And she's on YouTube at Cake Junkie. It's a pretty big channel. And uh, Instagram at Pie for Jill. John Shovels made these. He's only been turning bowls for, well, he just started this year, so just a few months. Really nice work. Isn't that pretty? Tyler, this is a just a gorgeous goblet. That captured ring, the elegant shape, really nice work. Now what you're seeing here is the fourth attempt at a base. I can't tell you how frustrated I was. Uh, it just wasn't pretty. Everything I was doing uh, to make a base that had a battery compartment that you could open and close easily. It just was not working. Nothing I did worked out. Until this one. And this one turned out pretty nice. So I guess things happen for a reason. Because this one here is way better than that thing I started out with. Now here I've changed out the jaws on my chuck. I've got those uh, long slender jaws uh, sticking up inside the, the hole and I've reverse mounted this wood. And that's why I've got the 
tailstock up just to provide a little bit of support while I finish shaping the outside. Now here I'm just boring into the top end of the base so that I've got a place to mount the resin. Here I'm just using that quarter inch parting tool sideways and I'm cutting grooves into the piece because I'm going to use some wire to uh, burn those areas. So that piece, that disc right there, is a piece of the uh, third attempt at a base. Uh, but it's going to work out perfectly for this piece. And all I'm doing, my final solution uh, for easy access to the battery compartment is just a brass catch. It's kind of a thin material, so I can bend it around the uh, the circumference there of the disc. And it just works out perfectly, and it looks good too. Well, I'll let you be the judge of that.
and there it is. It's almost like a lighthouse. I'm pretty happy with the shape. It's just a little bit different. It's, uh, it's not the usual suspect. I'm giving it the old final buffing with some carnauba wax. Yeah, I'm liking that Illuminolite quite a bit. Really hard resin. It's glass-like. Now this is just a 9 volt battery with a matching LED. Doesn't really cast any light off of it, but uh, it's got a really nice warm glow to it. Well, I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think. Semper Fi.